she is. It is so weird being back here. Like I feel like I never lived here, but I did live here for eight months all alone. Obviously that's what I chose, but like being sat here now with it like empty, how I actually got the flat is like crazy to me. Cause eight months go so quickly. A lot has happened in them eight months as well. Um, and I've just like, I'm just a whole like new different person to what I was like before <laughs> moving out. Um, I do miss it. Like I, I wish I could live here, but like it just isn't for me. Like I need to live here with someone. It would be great if like, Say I lived with a friend, like there's two bedrooms, it would be so nice, a little girl pad, but obviously because it was me by myself, it is very spacious, big and very lonely. I felt very sad most of the time, as much as I did love it. And I hardly had people over either, like I never had like friends round, or like not even my boyfriend would really come round, he'd come round but I'd always be at his, and it's like I've got my own space, so like... But it was just about 25 minutes away, too far out of the way, because um, I got a flat in Central Milton Keynes. Um, but anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't even know if I said that, but in today's video, I'm going to be doing an empty flat tour. Obviously, it's a little memory for like me, um, and also this video is very requested. A lot of people actually do want to see where I lived for eight months. Um, and since it's all like clean and empty i'm gonna show you it um obviously it was clean when i moved here but i wish i did like a furnished flat tour but i never actually got around to doing it because my camera broke but since then it's got it's fixed so yeah i hope you all like this video please thumbs up and subscribe if you do new videos every thursday and i actually am sticking to it so thursday at eight is my when my videos drop make sure you follow me on instagram i'm actually currently doing a giveaway over there that ends on sunday so make sure you go and enter that giveaway i'm giving a free pair of nike dunks and gift cards to who i'm doing the giveaway with um so yeah I'll put my instagram down below as well so yeah please follow me on there subscribe like it and comment down below on any videos you'd like to see me do it always gives me some ideas of what videos you guys like as this was a very requested one and i'm giving it to you so yeah let's get on with the empty flat tour so this is the front door um just a normal front door little peepee -pee hole um i would switch the light on in here but it actually doesn't work the bulb can you see that but anyway this is like what you walk into like i love the white walls i love the gray floor like i just love everything about it i love how clean it looks to the right i have a like utility cupboard so this is where i did my washing and i had my boiler and i also did some had some storage down here too like the hoover i had loads of bedding and stuff like that so yeah really big cupboard as you walk in it's a good little washing machine that it did shrink a lot of my clothes though because i actually didn't realize how to use it so yeah and then to the left we have the first bathroom again it's all very clean and empty there is still some bits here but we have a toilet toilet rolls a mirror a sink and a bath and a shower um i used to take quite a few baths in here um and also a towel roll again it's really spacious and big i don't know if the camera does it justice but that's me in the mirror fucking <laughs> tiny <laughs> but yeah this was the first bathroom this is like the the main like joint bathroom where everyone would come just to have a piss and a shit maybe and then where should we go next we'll go into we'll do the master after then when you turn to the right you walk into like the main living space i'm still got my little bar cart here that's quite funny to say someone doesn't drink she has a bar cart um but yeah so this sofa it came furnished so the sofa the coffee table the carpet that came with it this came with it that came with it it was furnished that's why it sold me because that means i didn't have to buy any furniture really i just bought a little bits and bobs from ikea so yeah the sofa is i think all the furniture is actually from john lewis they said but yeah not gonna lie i actually fucking hated this sofa um it was not really comfortable but it is what it is. I if if I lived here like and furnished it, it would I'd have probably like an L-shaped sofa like this to kind of break it up because it is very big and spacious. But obviously you can see 
it's also very high up. I live on the fourth floor and this is the view from my balcony. Um, Willen Lake's actually just over there, you can see it. And then there's obviously the local pub, the Warbler on the Wharf. And then we also had like a communal, I would show you, let's show you. Have like a communal garden down here where people would like sunbathe or like have picnics and stuff. Um, or if they had a dog, obviously I couldn't have a dog because I was renting. It's very big, very big. Um, what do you call that balcony? And then I had my TV obviously on here. The coffee table I love. I think it's so sick, but it's very fucking heavy. Um, I definitely would have this in like my house if I could, because it just looks sick. Like it's gold. I don't know, it looks really cool. And it matches the carpet perfectly. Um, and then I had my little like desk area. This is where I do like editing and work. Again, another mirror. I love mirrors. That also came with the flat. Then I had a table here, just like in the middle of the room. It used to be over there, but I don't know, it's there now. And then obviously this is my kitchen. Um, I did find the kitchen quite, it's, like I said, it's a very, it's a new build flat. So it's probably like nearly a year old now. So everything's very white and grey, which is very hard for it to feel quite cosy. You have to bring in, you know, like the creams and stuff. But I, I just never really felt cosy in this flat. Um, it always felt quite cold because it is such a big space. Um, but I'm not complaining that it's a big space. Like I did absolutely love. I just love this flat. I just wish it was like closer to my home. <laughs> and it was maybe one bedroom instead of two. But this is like the kitchen area. Nothing really special. And then obviously the bin. And I liked the sides, how they were like kind of marbly looking. And yeah, let me try and show you how like big this space is. I'm gonna put my camera down somewhere. Okay, my camera is in like the furthest part. I can literally like... Spacious, like everyone who came here was like, fucking hell, it's actually way bigger than it looks. Anyway, let's go to the spare bedroom which is here. Don't really need to put a light on, but I will anyway. So this is the spare bedroom. I would have made this my wardrobe room, but obviously it came furnished. So I actually just used it as a spare bedroom so that when people would come over, my friends would stay, um, they would stay in here. It was very, it was literally like a pink room, this. God, I'm really out of breath after just running around. But yeah, this is also came with, again, a big mirror wardrobe. Again, nothing crazy, just like a spare bedroom. And then obviously the view, again, from there. Yeah, loved it. And then, come to my bedroom, which, I don't think the camera actually does it justice. I wish it did. But it's huge. Like, I loved the mirrors in this flat. Like, this was a whole big wardrobe. Like, you could probably sleep in there, to be fair. Like, I can literally get in here. And, like, there's so much room. Um, very well-built flat, because <laughs> they've really thought about, like, space. Um, but yeah, this was my bed. I've put the old bedding on it. Again, like loads of space, the view. Amazing. This is what it looks like from this angle. The bed was actually here when I moved, but I wanted to change it around a bit because I'm just, my ADHD just likes changes to happen in my life. <laughs> so I love changing my bedroom around now and again. Um, and then I had my little ensuite, which is cute. Again, just again, a walk-in shower. Toilet, sink, bit of bleach. And that is literally my flat. Like, this is where I lived for eight months. It was very nice time. But unfortunately, let me just, unfortunately, things do have to come to an end. Mental health should always come first as well. 
but yeah it's just just a little little tiny little tour um kind of gives you an insight of like where i actually lived <laughs> For you guys that are nosy, but don't worry because I'm nosy too. I love watching these. So I love seeing where people live. It's really fucking weird, but I just really like enjoy it. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next YouTube video. Bye.